welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. We built a shop. It took me six months. You'll see it in 14 minutes. This guy is a 30 by 48 post frame construction. And I'm gonna use it to house my Land Rover collection. Sold the commercial shop, needed somewhere to go with them. I'll put all the details of the building in the description, but let's not waste time. And we're gonna do some sketchy stuff today, but we're bringing a hard hat along just in case. <laughs> Today is going to be a groundbreaking day. That is where the golden shovel is going to come in. Bigger golden shovel just might be the answer. This one should do. I'm gonna say I'm somewhat proud on this one. It's going smoother than I was thinking it would. The end of the building is gonna be somewhere in this neck of the woods. It's a self-driving compact. I think we're using all recycled materials from the hill and some various places throughout the property. This turned out half decent. Here you can kind of see I have the building roughly laid out. These are pretty close to what the four corners would be. And this is set at 48 feet and 30 feet. Not quite sure I can be inside and outside of the skid steer at the same time. Haven't figured that out yet. Obviously, you can tell I know what I'm doing. And that's gonna be our bracket. Looking like the whole the building up, I think. I don't know if it's gonna translate through camera, but it is pretty neat looking out here. So that's the stuff that's gonna go up first, and we got some of the Gertz Gertz. We got the supervisor back on site. She's not too happy about the string line though. Keeps tripping over it. <laughs> Sasha found a root to chew on. See, it's nice when it's still in the ground. You don't have to hold on to it. One tall boy. We routered out that to match up flush with the LVO. Here's our current setup. We got her sitting at an angle. This has been a tremendous amount of work for the site supervisor so far. But we do have the trusses. Getting closer 
with every day. The size is actually coming together nice. So this is the roof and the trim. This is the side. We got burner slate and midnight charcoal. So it kind of sucks when you only bring one T10 up with you in the lift and you drop it. We'll go back up now. And this time, bring a spare. See, I always lose my gloves where I set them, so we're just gonna have Sasha carry those for the time being. Look at that guy go. Rocking right through the roof. The backside looks pretty freaking nice. Sasha's always got to have her supervisor spot right there. Got a good eye on what I'm messing up. So I feel like I'm in the freaking twilight zone anymore. Look at that. So we are 56 panels into the steel. The next few have a freaking messed up etch. So it looks like I got to run back to Menards and see what we can do about that. I'm sure we'll have to order some more. Ranch. Today we make some good progress on the security of the old Lost Cause Ranch Land Rover shop. I mean, I guess security is still lacking. Break time. super nice hold down until it gets buried. Pretty high tech around here. But I think that guy should drain nicely. and it's pretty well flat and level. Sounds solid to me. So took the eco out and picked up our foam for underneath the slab. That's an art, sticking it all up. So I set it all on there, I have one strap over it and I go to move out of the way since it's busy and move outside of the little covered area and the freaking wind took off. There is some of the aftermath. I shredded 16 sheets of this stuff. Real Joe move.
I think we have this guy all wrapped up, literally and figuratively. So when they told me I had to put bar in my shop, this isn't exactly what I had in mind. Not working out the way I wanted it to. So we got one rolling the stuff in. Got one waiting too. And it wasn't supposed to snow today. Perfect weather to dump a bunch of concrete, I'm sure. Uh, at, least, at least we had it closed in this time. I'm useful sometimes. Tell you the truth, it's been kind of nice not actually working on the shop today. I just, I, I was, I was kind of lazy. Just sat around and watched. A little bit worthless. It's, it's winter, and uh, Joe is prepared as usual. And the one hose sitting outside, and it's froze. Super happy with how this all turned out. This is Sashi's first time on the concrete. What do you think? Is it nice? Did I put the drain in the right spot? Does that look all right to you? I think it looks all right, but we gotta have the boss's approval. But there's our well, and there's our new shop. There's our electric meter, and there's our new shop. Today's project is getting both those things down the hill. into. Ted's gonna run one. I got the other one. I gotta I got turn it on. Though. Just a test to see what one's faster. here. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, we're winch race. Now that we got the sketchiest end of it over, we'll put the uh, safety steward back inside. She's not much of a winter dog. Time to go back by the fire. We'll give you a little close up of our contraption there. Snatch block, axle strap around the tube, axle strap around the pole, and it didn't even fall. That thing looks nice on there. We now have a garage door. Shop is all closed in. It goes up and down, does what it's supposed to do. But this is the most vehicles we've had in here. Next week, we'll load up a few of the Land Rovers that will spend the winter in here before it gets too chilly and snowy. Now, if you would have told me that the Nada was the first one to leave a tire mark in the shop, I wouldn't have believed you. To test the strength of the building out here real quick. Got her snatched up. LR4 there. We are now plumb full. Quite a crazy sight after six months of building this thing out to actually see vehicles in here. So there it is, we have a somewhat usable shop now. We still need to run the electrical, insulate, build the mezzanine with the office and bathroom. If you're interested in seeing the process more in depth, I'll put the playlist to all the videos down below, along with maybe up here. Can't wait to start building some Land Rovers in here. With that being said, appreciate you guys watching, appreciate you subscribing, and we will catch you on the next one.